So in this video, I'm gonna show you how not to do cold emails. Uh, I've seen one of the worst cold email barrages ever in the, in the month of June. And then I'll show you the right way to do it, how we're gonna be doing it for our new email marketing services, the more personalized outreach that we're doing through cold email, okay? So first, let's look at exhibit A, how not to do cold email. This is a woman, or at least I think it's a woman named Rebecca, and she's been emailing me every couple of days throughout all of June. There's dozens of emails. I think there's close to like 30, 34 emails or so, and she just did not stop, and they're all terrible, okay? So look at this here. I'll tell you what's wrong with these in a second. Hello, it's been some time now and I haven't received a response. I really hope everything has been going well. We're now going through a second wave of the virus and I really hope everyone is staying safe at home. If you see my email, please respond when you can. Now, what's missing here? She did not tell me what's in it for me. Why should I respond? It's been some time now, I haven't received a response. Why would I respond to this? Like, what is in it for me? She's not telling me, she hasn't told me anything. Okay, this is basically how all of her emails have, go, have gone and she sent dozens of these to me. So these are all going straight to, to trash into the spam box now. And I just think it's pretty hilarious like how bad these are, right? Hi, just quickly following up really quick in hopes of actually getting a response soon. I hope my email was not sent to spam. Well, it was. <laughs> Please respond as soon as you can. Is this email not in use anymore? This email is the only one I could find or maybe you're just busy, I don't know, but I hope you receive my emails. Rebecca, if you're watching this, why, what the hell is in it for me? Why would I respond to your emails? You didn't, you didn't tell me a single thing about why you're reaching out, okay? So this, it's not just Rebecca here. There's so many, if I look at my spam box, there's so many people just like this and sometimes the reputable companies that send cold emails that just suck, okay? So the number one thing she's doing wrong here is she has not answered the question for me, what's in it for me? Why should I respond? Okay, what is the benefit of me responding? What am I gonna get, right? That's all that people care about. They don't care about you. They don't care about you getting a response. They don't care about how much money you wanna make that month or how much clients you wanna get. You need to answer the question, what's in it for me, for the prospect, okay? So, uh, what I'm gonna be doing here is I wanna show you an example of how we're gonna be reaching out. This is called account-based marketing and basically means more personalized, targeted outreach. We have a list of accounts, we have a list of Dream 100 accounts here, and I hid most of them here. You could see we have 102 here, lines or rows, but I hid most of them. I'm just gonna show you an example of one, the, the, the first person on the list here, which is John Whiting, okay? And I wanna show you how we're gonna reach out to him and how we're gonna reach out to other people. And this is a more personalized approach. It's not the spray and pray method where you just load up a bunch of names and a copy pasted message. This does take a lot more time. You can probably only do around 10 to 15 of these per day before you get burnt out. But the result of that is you get a much higher response rate, okay? So if you have, I don't wanna say the balls because there's probably women watching this as well, but if you have the time and you are determined, you wanna make this work, you wanna get higher response rates, you wanna lock down three to five clients or so in the next month, this is gonna be the best way to do it because it's more personalized to the people you're reaching out to. Again, this requires more research and more personalization in the message, but it does have a much higher response rate. So let me jump over to this document here. All right, so the subject line should be somewhat personalized. So I might say something like, John, love your YouTube channel. Or John, shot you this quick video analysis on your email market. Uh, so these are just some quick examples, right? You want it to be personalized to the person you're reaching out to. So John here has a YouTube channel. Let me just click here. And you can see here some information I have. I blocked off some of it because some of it is, you know, I don't want everyone blowing him up. But I rewrote then his name, his company, his URL for his website, the industry he's in the Facebook profile, his LinkedIn profile, Instagram profile, YouTube uh, YouTube channel. And we can reach out through all of these channels here. We also we can also reach out through email. So we can send him a message on Facebook, we can send him a message on LinkedIn and Instagram, hit him on all these different areas, okay? So if we go to his YouTube channel here, he actually has a YouTube channel. So I might reference one of these videos here, right? John, loved your video on the best marketing spend with limited resources, right? So reference something personalized in the subject line, okay? That's the first thing. Now we go to the body now. So personalized snippet. I might say something like, uh, let me just do this in italicized. Hey John, 
loved your video on This is off the cuff, guys, so if I go for periods of time where I'm not talking, it's because I'm thinking. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm referencing something personalized from his YouTube channel so that he knows that I actually went through and did my research, right? And I'm gonna go back after this. I'm actually gonna reach out to John and see if we can help him uh, and reference something else here that's personalized. But I'm just showing you a quick example here, okay? So how to increase brand awareness for your business. Um, Getting traffic and eyeballs on your offer is an important part of growing your business. And I'm So real simple, this is not the best uh, personalized snippet here, but what I'm doing is I'm referencing something that only John has, right? So he only has, he has this video on how to increase brand awareness for your business on his YouTube channel, which I referenced in the subject line, right? I'm just gonna highlight this, so I'm gonna use this. And then I talk about the problem that he's solving, kind of complimenting him, right? Getting traffic and eyeballs on your offer is an important part of growing your business, and it's great to see you helping people with that, okay? Now, I'm gonna say something, call out the problem, right? That's the next step here. So I'm gonna do this. Calling out the problem. Now, what's the problem? You want this problem that you're calling out to be, oops, to be related to whatever you're offering as a solution, right? So calling out the problem. What's the problem? Uh, so I might say the reason I'm reaching out I'm on your email list because our service is email marketing, right? We help people set up, help info product creators, e-learning businesses set up uh, on or automated email flows to help them make more sales and more profits from their products, their info products. So I'm going to say the reason I'm reaching out is I'm on your email list and I noticed a few areas that you might be, oops, did I hit the caps? Okay, so this isn't um, this isn't official. I am on his email list, but I haven't done a full analysis yet. So this is just off the top of my head of what of some things that we might say about his email list. So number one, you don't have an abandoned cart. Uh, you don't have three email. Could be leaving four to five percent of your of Okay. Uh, so you don't have a three email abandoned cart sequence in place, could be leaving four to five percent of additional sales on the table from people who abandon your cart. Uh, you don't have a ten part welcome sequence. Um, after someone opts in for your for your lead magnet, which is in his case, I think that's a free training video. I'm just gonna say via sell video sales letter. Uh, I don't have a percentage usually for this, so I'm just gonna say could be leaving more sales. Could be leaving. Sales on the table here as well. Um, a third part could be that, what else do we help them with? Mm. Now let's just end it here, but this is an example, right? So I'm, what, I'm, what I'm doing here is, our service is email marketing, and I'm referencing a few problem areas from being on his list of things that we can help him with, right? So 
Look at this, the reason I'm reaching out is I'm on your email list and I noticed a few areas that you might be able to improve. You don't have a three email banding card sequence in place. Could be leaving four to five percent of additional sales on the table. Also, you don't have a 10 part welcome sequence after someone opts in for your lead magnet or your free training video sales letter. Again, could be leaving additional sales on the table here as well. Okay, so what I did here was I called out the problem. These are a couple problems related to his email. I want him to think, huh, I, I don't have those things and I am leaving sales on the table, right? Maybe I should talk to this guy again. Again, what's in it for me, right? So he's looking at this, he's saying, hmm, that makes, I don't have these things. Uh, I wanna put these in place, right? And I haven't done a full analysis on him. I haven't actually looked if he has these things or not, uh, but I am gonna go back and check after this. So value proposition. This is basically your I help or we help. Who do you help to do what? Okay, so I might say uh, we help info publishers uh, to increase their sales by 20% plus We create the copy. And map out your behavioral sequencing. You just upload it to your ESP press send and profit, okay? Uh, guys, please do not copy and paste any of the stuff that I'm using here. If you, don't, if you do, you're just a piece of crap. Like that's, it's not gonna work, okay? Uh, you can't just copy and paste what people are using for cold email. It has to be related to your business. And if you are one of those copy pasters, you're not gonna last long, even if you do find some success, okay? So please come up with your own value proposition, come up with your own personalized snippet and all this stuff here. Uh, I'm just giving you an idea here, right? Uh, personalized Loom video. So I'm gonna insert link. And I'm doing these personal, you don't have to do this, okay? This is just an additional touch point here because I like being, I like shooting these videos because I know it warms the person up to you. It builds that rapport, it builds that no like and trust factor because they can see you, right? So when I shoot this video, it's basically gonna be reading off this exact same thing. I'm gonna be on John's website. I'm gonna say, hey John, loved your video on how to increase brand awareness for your business. Getting traffic and eyeballs on your offer, definitely important part of growing your business and I'm glad you're helping people address that problem and helping people get more brand awareness. Now, the reason I'm reaching out to you is because I'm on your email list. I noticed a few things that you might be able to improve there. First of all, I noticed you don't have a three email abandoned cart sequence. You could be leaving four to 5% of additional sales on the table there from just setting up a simple abandoned cart sequence there. You also don't have a 10 part welcome email sequence after someone opts in for your free training video sales letter. And again, you could be leaving additional sales on the table because you're not nurturing people to becoming customers with you after watching that video, okay? So this personalized Loom video is just, is just me talking about exactly what's in the email here, okay? So you don't have to go into a crazy off the cuff like, uh, like personalized uh, script. It just has to be reading or addressing what you're already talking about in the email here. So I'm gonna create that video for each of the people on my Dream 100 list, and I'm gonna insert the link to the finished video within the email so that they can watch it. Social proof and credibility. Uh, all you're gonna do here is you can talk about, you know, clients, you, how many clients you've worked with. Um, results for your clients, right? Um, how long you've been helping people, et cetera. Yeah. This is just showing social proof, any kind of social proof or credibility that you have. Maybe you've spoken somewhere before, maybe you have some sort of industry awards or recognitions. If you're brand new, this won't apply to you, but that's what you would insert here, right? We've worked with 51 clients in the info product space. We've helped, we've generated over $11.2 million for our clients and for ourselves in our own business. We've been helping people with email and email marketing for the past four years. That's some examples of what I might be saying 
in this area here, okay? So social proof, credibility, if you don't have this, uh, it definitely helps. If you have this, definitely helps. So try to get this as quickly as possible. And then you can talk about it and reference it here. Now the CTA, uh, I just like to, I'm gonna direct people to a discovery call, right? So I might just say something like, if you're interested in having a chat about how we can help you scale your uh, sales profitably with automated You know, please book a time for a quick chat here and we use Calendly here. Okay. Um, sign off. So additional background on your company. Again, you can talk about more case studies, testimonials, results. You can address, you can show them some content that might warm them up. So I might say something like, um, by the way, here's a link to some of our best case studies. Link. Here's a link to a video on how we started Twenty five K per month in two months using email. To VSL. Okay. And then signature. This is just your sign off, right? So Sean Anthony, CEO at company. Address, phone, unsubscribe link. Um, oh, I might have a book a call link here as well. Okay, so let's take a look at what we did here. Now, I want you to quickly take a look at Rebecca here. Okay, <laughs> so. Look at her email, has nothing to do with me, has nothing to do with what she's gonna help me do. She is just begging for a response and she sent dozens of emails. So she's, yes, she's persistent, but she's basically a straight spammer because she isn't telling me anything of value. She isn't telling me why I should respond and she hasn't told me what she's gonna help me do if I do respond. So she's just a straight spammer and this is what you do not wanna do, right? Now, this is the ABM approach, account-based marketing, more targeted approach that we're using for our Dream 100 list. And what we're doing is we are reaching out with a personalized subject line. Hey, John, love your YouTube channel. Personalized snippet. Hey, John, love your video on how to increase brand awareness for your business. Getting traffic and eyeballs on your offer is an important part of growing your business. And it's great to see you helping people with that. So it's a personalized snip snippet that uh, talks about something personal to them. Like I can't just copy and paste this to anybody else on my list because they don't have this video. And I'm also complimenting him on what he's doing in that video. Then I call it the problem related to, to our solution and what we provide, which is email marketing. They don't have this abandoned cart sequence in place. They don't have a welcome sequence in place to turn prospects into new customers. Could be leaving a bunch of sales on the table here. Value prop. We help info publishers to increase your sales by 20% plus using an automated email sales machine. We craft the copy, map out your behavioral sequencing, and you just upload to your ESP, press send, and profit, right? That's what we help them do. Very clear, and they can read this. And John's gonna read this and say, oh, I know exactly what they do. They increase sales using email, but I don't, I don't really know exactly what they do, so I'm curious to learn more, okay? 
So we tell them about what we, what we do, but we don't list out like every free feature and benefit or any, everything within this, this area here. Just a really quick uh, one to two sentence value prop. I'm then gonna shoot a personalized loom video talking about, again, what, what we talked about in this email, how we're gonna help them and calling up the problem and their value prop. I'm gonna shoot a personalized loom video while I'm on his site so that it, it warms him up to me and makes him more likely to accept a phone call because it builds that no like and trust factor when he's watching me on video. A social proof and credibility. You can talk about how many clients you've worked with, results you've had for your clients, any awards or recognition that you've had, and how long you've been helping people in a certain industry. You can talk about that, how many years. And uh, the call to action. We're directing people to a discovery call. We want a 15 to 20 minute chat with them. If you're interested in having a chat about how we can help you scale your sales profitably, with automated email flows, please book a time for a quick chat here. Link to our calendar so he can book a time that fits for him, for, for him and his schedule. Sign off. This could be additional background on your company. By the way, here's a link to some of our best case studies. Here's a link to a video training I created on how we started a new info product business and grew it to 25K per month in two months using email marketing. And we linked to a video sales letter that we created. And then a signature, right? So you know, I might say something like, um, looking forward. There we go. Okay, so can you see what I did here? This is a big difference from Rebecca's email. John knows exactly how I'm gonna be able to help him. I wanna help him increase his sales and profits using email marketing. I can help him address these problems. And I also reached out with a personalized snippet and a compliment, okay? So these are messages they get a lot higher response they take a lot they, they definitely take a longer time to do you just saw how long it took me but if you can focus on doing maybe 10 of these every single day and you do this for an entire month and you have a good service you have a good offer right i can guarantee you you're going to get some clients okay i can guarantee that if you actually do this you do 10 of these a day this personalized abm abm style outreach account-based marketing where you're doing a targeted list and you're reaching out with personalized information here, I can guarantee you if you have a good offer or service that you are going to get some clients. You're gonna get some high ticket clients for whatever service or whatever offer you have, okay? So give this a try. This is stuff that I usually charge a lot of money for for my accelerator students and for people um, like private clients that I work with, one-on-one -on -one clients. But I want to map this out because I, I know most of you, first of all, are not gonna do anything with this anyway. And the other thing is I'm just seeing way too many crappy emails and I want people like Rebecca to stop emailing me with this crap, okay? So apply this to your business, give this a try for a month and I promise you're gonna see some amazing results if you actually follow through and do this. It's not easy, uh, but it's simple. There's a simple framework, a simple formula for doing this and if you can do it for a month straight, you're gonna see some results, you're gonna make some money, okay? So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, and if it, if it was, give me a like. If you have any, any questions about how to do this or any questions more around what I'm doing in this video here, comment below. I'll either answer them within the comments or I'll, I'll do it on another rapid fire Q&A session, okay? So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.